Batteryless master. Cool. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah, right. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah! Yes. <laughs> I tried to double psychology you. It's like he thinks I'm going to choose rock. Uh, I watched the video back to remember what you picked last God, time. But I said, I was like, oh, I normally choose rock. And you're like, I'll remember that. I'm yeah. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> well. All right. Uh, probably the review you've all been waiting for. Mm -hmm. S22 master comparison with a little taste of EX20S, which, yeah. uh, ew. Ow. 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 Yeah, EX20S, <laughs> our video. Ow. 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 Let's just quickly go off on why the EX20S is not the wheel for us. Yeah, so we took all three out the other day, and you'll, we'll have some B-roll playing. All and three being the S22, call it the S22, Acquiesce, the master, and the EX20S, which we will see video of soon. Oh, this chair, by the way, is so much it's work. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah. I've never really sat in it before. Whack you, buddy. Um, <laughs> EX20S, um, the reason why we give it an A. Yeah. 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 Because... For one, it's what, 134 pounds think, or something? I think like 110. I thought it was 130. And 115, then... 115. Okay, it's the same yeah. weight as the uh, Wolf King GTA. It's insane. Um, but first of all, it's got the CST knobby tire on it, which yeah. it's not yeah. a fan of. <laughs> when you turn on it, it uh, the, the bites kind of like flex and like dig in, then it pulls you. It like locks you It in. locks you into a side that you don't want to go. Yeah. Um, and it has it on the S22 as well, but I'll get into that later. But the EX20S, because it's so much heavier. On the Master or the S22? The, on the, the same tire is on the S, or sorry, the Master. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying that one. I was um, like, really, I love the S22 tire. No, S22 tire would be, I want to, can't wait to get more in so I can yeah. put one on the Master and yep. see how it works. But um, anyways, because it's so heavy, it exaggerates how bad that tire is even more. And I was on it for like maybe five minutes or less. And off every stage. time I accelerated, it was like, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't. And it's exacerbated kick it. by the weight of it, too, right? You're leaning into it on an S18. I had that problem when we put the first Takenda or the whatever tire on the S18. Oh, oh that TR1 tire. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee delivery. Thank Coffee you so much. Thank you, Thank you Gavino. <laughs> oh. um, Shout out NASA. SpaceX is coming for you. That was my souvenir when I went to Houston. No way, yeah. cool. <laughs> I love this cup so much. Great brand, mugs. horrible space travel program. <laughs> Hot take. Hot take. Anyways, the EX20S um, actually has better suspension than the S22. Uh, maybe it's because it's heavier, but I found that it was like, wasn't bottoming out, it wasn't as pogo sticky, and it was just really You're saying smooth. better than the Master or better than the S22? Better than the Master. Okay. I got us. It's okay. What I'm am I this. doing I'm right now? Oh this. my God. I'm on this. Is it the chair? <laughs> <laughs> Is it the chair? <laughs> mess with sneak, my... sleeping up my brain deadedness. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, because of that, I didn't care for it. Also, the top speed, we got it up to 64 kilometers an hour. It was yeah. beeping like crazy. Albert was on it most of the time, and he could not keep up with us on the S22 yeah. and Master. And... It has an amazing seat, so for like seated, long seated it's riding, seat, it's got 3,600 watt hour batteries. You're probably gonna yeah. cruise forever on that thing. Yeah, it's just not the wheel for me. We're not gonna carry it for the reasons of what I outlined last week, as we're trying to downsize the, how many EUCs we carry and just carry the most reliable and the best ones. Yeah, because it's been. Uh, I had it keeping up with repairs and yeah. warranties. And, and if it were, think about it from a retail perspective, right? We get a new wheel in that we don't know if it'll do well or not, but we want to be the people that have everything. Then we also have to order 
X amount of dollars, large amount of dollars of parts to service those things because we pride ourselves on our service. So it's just too much. But I will say too, um, while we didn't like the EX20S, Albert, who he was referencing earlier, one of our uh, you know, partners and an amazing part of the community, he and quite a few other people in his kind of like EFAM, shout out EFAM, um, EUC group, they all loved it and Albert's like singing its praises. He's a bigger guy, he's like 240, 250. I don't think it's that big. That's what he said. Really? He's like, I'm 250 pounds. Yeah. What? Yeah, he's got those dense bones, man. Dude, he's not a powerful, powerful stature, yeah. So okay. he's, he's in love with it. He's just like, dude, this thing's a dream. I, I, he's like, I came from a place that's like 20 kilometers, miles away. See how low there? Thank you, nice and low. And, um, <laughs> and he's like, I, I sat, I rode seated the whole time. Like I didn't get up. I, I got out of my house, I sat down and I rode the whole freaking way here. Maybe like stop at lights, but he's in love with the thing. He just, he wants, he's like one of the They're grand touring tours. guys. They They're love to tour. Guys. They just want that range, yeah. you know? But that's the X20S. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Uh, maybe, yeah. well, it's you. If they do, they might do some of their own reviews or rides. Yeah. So we'll link the EFAM YouTube channel. They're a local, E fam, <laughs> and uh, yeah. they ride together and die together. Yeah, bad boys for life. Good people. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anywho, yeah. S22 versus the Master. Mm -hmm. um, first impressions, and I think we both agree on this. Yeah. Now, I actually, before, do I go into um, my true thoughts right away, or do I, or do I wait? I think a good, a good preamble is that for one of the first times ever in one of these videos, we disagree. We yeah, have, we have I love the Master, and I think I'm uh, I'm gonna ride the Master more than the S22, which and it, shocks me, <laughs> to not, be honest. If I'm not pulling any punches, I do not like the Master really at all. I can totally understand how someone would like it more than the S22, depending on what kind of riding they're doing. It's but, very weird for us to... Yeah, <laughs> this is like odd, I'm like, uh, but I'm gonna have to disagree, sir. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I like the S22 to not be exaggerative, five times more than the wow. master. Yeah, five, five times, times, a lot Whoa. more. I like, I wanted to get back so I could. Like, let's change the tire on the master and you might have We'll a... see, we'll see. Change no, the we tire. already did. We changed it to the Sherman Kenda knobby tire yeah. and it's a bit better, but you rode it on the Sherman Kenda. You haven't, didn't even ride it on the CST one, so. Whatever whatever one I rode it on, I one, the, one of the redeeming things about it was that turning, I don't know if it's the higher up, plus the, you know, the pedal clearance, plus just maybe that tire I like. Yeah. But I loved turning on the master. I was getting more pitted into corners than I than I normally do on really any other wheel. Maybe it's because I had no fear of pedal scrape, and I've scraped the pedals on an S22 even if I've been because I also like turning yeah. on that thing. But I know your I know why you don't like the master. Uh, I mean, one of the first reason is the S22 is much easier to ride. It's just yeah. it just is. It's more stable. It's, me a it's more stable when you're braking. Yeah. It's easier to turn. It's it's just it rides a little bit lower than the master. The master yeah. rides really high, so yeah. you have that center of gravity is kind of off a little bit. Yeah. And the master is all really wobbly, especially when you're braking hard. Yeah. You'll get used to it because you have to get used to a new wheel. Exactly. But yeah. it ride and because it rides very high, it's feels unstable and more wobbly. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, I'd say it's more for. Um, more advanced riders. Yeah. But another reason is, and we both can agree on this, the suspension on the S22 is way better. Leagues beyond. Way more travel. Leagues beyond. The Master is too pogo sticky. I've yeah. heard that a lot of them are losing air or the the rebound control is breaking on them and not yeah. working. Um, people are gonna be switching those things out. We actually put a coil suspension on, um, the DNM one, but it was, we only put a 750 pound spring yeah, and I was bottoming out just by standing, just standing on it. On the thing, but yeah. riding home, the fact that it was riding a little bit lower was really nice. Uh, more stability. But I don't know if it's gonna have enough travel to ever give you an S22 suspension experience. No, you just don't have the room. It's gonna bottom out still. Uh, we're gonna try to put some really like big springs on it. Like a 1500 pound spring. Yeah. We're but then you'll be super experiment. high up and it'll be a different, you know. Once we experiment, we'll let you know what works for us and we're gonna have a chart for your weight and what suspension coil you should get yep. if we find that the coil suspension is indeed better than the uh, Bagode made suspension. They actually made the suspension from scratch, like they, uh, as you can probably can tell from looking at it. <laughs> but uh, that, and then the other thing is the S22 does have a better overall feel. Yeah. It feels by, by a long shot for me. just more sturdy. Yeah. The master, and I don't know if it says our master, but it has this rattliness to it when you yeah. brake, especially going down a steep it. hill. It yeah. kind of feels like something's like, 
like rattling. Yeah, and there's like moving forward to backward, there's this little bit of empty space where it's kind of like, I don't know if it feels. Oh, that's just the bagode way. I love that part. I'm just not a, like it's a literal, and not like, you know, a little bit of looseness. It feels like complete empty space to me. And also I, I tried to do the same. So I went out, when I went out for my kind of like inaugural proper ride on the master, I tried to kind of do the same route that I do on the S22 and hit all of the little fun, little, obstacles that I've found and it was night and day. Like I went, there's a skate park near, um, which I think I have on video, we'll we'll use it or we won't, but I have, it's just like these little, there's baby stairs and then there's big stairs. And I was like, oh, I'll go down the baby stairs first. And like, I I didn't almost fall, but I would like hit them and it was like, and it just like, it was clanking and it just felt painful and jarring. And by the end of the ride, just, you know, hitting a couple bumps and stuff, my feet were quite sore. Yeah. Where on the S20. I will say my feet were a lot more sore on the Master too. Yeah. I they just had to get used to it because it does a lot more of this, yeah. the pedals, when you're riding, which I like because it feels like I have more leverage when I'm braking. And yeah. i got to say, the Master breaks exceptionally well. Yeah. Better than the S22, but, but for it sure. But sh- it shakes for me when I'm braking. I, oh, I but yeah, you get wobbles like crazy, you especially wobbles. if you're braking really hard. You're stopping fast. You should go away with practice and, yeah. and time. You get, yeah. You're learning a new wheel, but... Um, the thing that really sets the master apart from the S22, and this is why I like it better, is the torque, torque. and the power and the speed. So it's a C38, technically it's a torque wheel, but yeah. because it's 134 volts, it gives you crazy speed, yeah. like ridiculous speeds. And the crazy Four thing is, speed. and a lot of people don't realize this, is the C38 motor that's on the master is the exact same motor that's on the EXN, the RS, hmm. um, the RS. Hero, yeah. and they just, and then there's a C30, but I'm glad they put a C38 in the master because that higher voltage gives it so much more speed and power. Yep. To put this in perspective, I was going 74 kilometers an hour sustained up uh, like in uh, North Vancouver, like yeah, yeah. up this hill and speed limit at 60 kilometers oh, an hour for cars. 74 kilometers an hour. Yes. <laughs> 60, or sorry, the speed limit 60. And I'm going up the hill and cars are usually speeding, but and usually they're passing me and you can tell they're angry, like rip past me. Yeah. This time, nobody's passing me because I'm going way ahead of traffic yeah. and it felt so good to be able to keep up with traffic on a busy road. Yep. And that was the safest I ever felt on that road. And I always, sometimes I'll ride the sidewalk because it's just really busy, sketchy road. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you're on a slower wheel. And I've rode the S22 in the same route and it just doesn't quite have that sustained 70 kilometer an hour speed yep. that you can go to be able to do that. Yep. So that was one of the, Whoa, this is so cool. It's so fast. And as you guys know, I don't ride past, like usually 63 was like, I think my, or 64 was my previous top speed. Yeah. This thing's got me going way faster than I ever imagined. And I'm going 74 without beeps. And like, is that good? Is that bad? Like, you know, that's, yeah, that's another It's pushing people to, into a new territory of it's like, danger. Is this wheel, I, I'm, what I'm yeah. kind of scared for is someone who maybe like got a, 16x or a tesla t3 or some kind of more entry level 50 55 kilometer a v11 something like that and they're like i want to level up i've been riding i'm good but they're not as good as they think maybe like me i don't know and they're like i'm gonna get the master because man like going 90 i'm a hardcore guy i used to ride motorcycles or girl whatever like you know i drive fast cars i'm gonna get this thing because i'm gonna go fast and they won't have the experience and maybe on like the first or second day they're riding it they just like push it to 80, 85, yeah. and they go to brake and get the wobbles or wobble during the acceleration, they're in the suspension. That part, that part scares me. You can give a, people like, it's the same thing you see on the one wheel all the time. Yeah. People don't listen or respect the pushback. Exactly. They're not using proper body positioning. They're over leaning yeah. and they cut out and they, or they nose dive and they break their collarbone. Yeah. And we don't want that um, at, at that high speed. So if yeah. you're a talented enough person to ride at those speeds, like Bradley can go up a hill at 74 consistently and feel safe, safer than he's ever felt, you know, this guy's got thousands and thousands and thousands of kilometers on, on EUCs and we have a freaking business doing it. And like, you know, I'm, I'm good, but I think I like where I excel is in the stuff that the S20 made me good at, which is, you know, like obstacles and... S22. Did I say S20? Yeah, I'm just uh, messing. I'm S22. Just messing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the master weight. Oh. <laughs> but like, you know, that's where I'm like, just riding, I'm whatever, you know, I can cruise at 60, 65 on the... Oh, sorry, keep right. talking. Yeah, keep talking. no problem. You know, I can cruise at 60 or 65 on the um, on the S22, no problem. Just going off on a phone call. All right. Okay, thank you. Welcome to Bye. Lucas Hour. So I'm cruising 60, 65 kilometers an hour on the S22. 
for me, that's, that's enough speed. Like, I think that for the people that, that want the master, it's like, yeah, 65 cruising speed, it's just not quite enough for me. I'd like to cruise at 75 and maybe tickle 80. Cool. My eyes was like, too yeah. fast. I know, yeah. it's like, that's cool, that's the wheel for you. But like, I'm personally, for my own kind of safety and also just where my risk portfolio is for my own safety, I, I'm comfortable cruising at 55, 60, and like kind of tickling 63, yeah, And I think most people will. And most people will. We'll kind of summarize this whole, where this is leading to, yeah. and what they, who the S22 is for, and who yeah. the Master is for. Yeah. But before we get there, a few more points I want to make is, yeah. um, the Master is much easier to accelerate. Yep. Um, yep. And you can reach those speeds a lot quicker, but, the S22's new firmware, and I think this is why I call it S22, because the new firmware. Yeah, it makes it, makes it the 22. <laughs> um, yeah. It's way easier to accelerate than ever before. Even Doug and um, Albert were like really impressed. I think yeah. I will post a little clip of them yep. and their thoughts. Uh, what did you all think? The well, S20, when we took it up the Cardiac Hill, yeah. uh, it had a really, really good torque. I was testing it at really low speeds, and it brought me up the hill really easily. Uh, so that was really nice. I think the new firmware really changed the way it rides. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that firmware is, makes it so much more responsive. Like it's, it's easier to get going. It, it does have that weird like kind of a vibration grunt right off the line. Yeah. But it goes away. It's a lot uh, shorter now, I noticed. The shorter, vibration yeah. just, yeah, I yeah. barely notice it anymore. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. The response is really nice. I like that a lot. Um, Perfect. The speed is good. I think I got to beep around 70 something. Yeah. I, I got it up to 72 today. I didn't hear it beep, but maybe I was windy or whatever. Yeah, I heard something. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Uh, and in terms of like the the torque application and, and like removal and reapplication, it's a bit more mellow, like smoothened out compared to the Bigode wheels. Yeah. Um, but definitely can do it, which yeah. is a good plus. What did you think of the Master, uh, Doug? Uh, good. I like uh, the tire. It's okay. Uh, it's actually manageable, more so than the, the EX20S. Uh, there is something kind of rattly inside. We don't know what that is yet. Yeah. Uh, seat riding is great. I like it more than this. The seat's so small, and this is much longer seat. The seat on the EX20 is amazingly comfortable. Yeah. Like it's really perfect. Yeah. And then you have that back tailbone support, yeah. so when you lean back, you won't feel like you're falling off the seat. Right. Uh, the one thing I will say is the Masters trolley handle is really good because it locks. The EX20 doesn't lock. Yeah, I don't know if it's broken or if it just doesn't lock. That's we weird. Don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the last thing about that Masters is like it's got that torque, just like you you get out of the regular C38. But then you just have this extra, like, huge overhead of yeah. speed. You're not high worried torque, about high speed. Exactly, wheel. It's right? crazy to have both. It's like yeah. the best of both worlds. In that Especially when you guys are running away from me on Winston and I'm beeping away at the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the EX2. On the EX20S, yeah, yeah. there's a high torque. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, guys. But the yeah. beeper on, oh, yeah. sorry, the beeper on the Master and the EX20, because it's facing towards you, it's much I louder. feel way more comfortable riding the beeps because it's very obvious. Yeah, I can hear you from way, from oh, way yeah. far back too. Yeah. I couldn't get the you master- You can hear me through the comms. I couldn't get the master to beep, but I'm not that brave. Yeah, I no. think, not yet, not yet. I think with a better tire, it might yeah, be exactly. back better, but- uh, And a shock. And a, yeah, better shock. Yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah. But uh, it is so easy to accelerate. And even on the, uh, you can go 70 now on the S22 easily without knowing it. Yep. Which is really cool because before you really had to kind of have your feet more forward and always have a really hard lean on. Yep. You don't need to do that anymore and they've really perfected the firmware there. I've never once accelerated on the, and granted I'm 6'2", 200, probably 210 pounds in gear. So I've got some leverage, you know, big tall boy, heavy boy leaning over the wheel. And maybe I'm just because I'm not like a super speed demon. I've never once, even before the firmware, but especially after the firmware update, I've never once accelerated on the S22 and be like, I need a little bit more. Like if I'm at a cruising 20 kilometers speed and I hit an open path and I lean into it within, I'm going a speed that I don't want to go past. You know, like I'm at 60 right freaking away. Yeah. So it's like that for me is more than enough. And then you t we'll, we'll go. And well, people, everyone that came to our uh, demo tour or watched those vlogs of the tour will know that a common thing people said is like, it's not as torquey as I thought. Yeah. And it kind of has this long rattle. Especially at the And what I think started, that yeah. rattle is, that, that teeny noise you hear when you're accelerating hard is the motor uh, pulling back a little bit to not blow the controllers. Yeah. And Which somehow they've tweaked the, the firmware now that that tinny noise lasts for a lot less long. 
So you get that acceleration a lot quicker. My theory, I don't know yeah. if it's true, but it seems like that's Makes what's sense. happening. Because the rattle's gone um, away. It used to go like, ah, for the first like, you know, 10, 15 meters if you really pitched into it. And yeah. it still makes a bit of a noise, but it's a lot smoother. And I don't personally get that noise really at all when I'm like mid, mid torque curve acceleration now yeah. too. Um, yeah. The other things are the S22 has a much more complicated design. Yeah. Um, more plasticky parts. Yeah. More Seems like there's more to break. Definitely. Yeah. And Definitely. the Master has a much simpler design, a lot less to break, although yeah. the battery casing seems really flimsy yeah. and it's very, really much not very water resistant. Not at all. The S22 at least has the bearing seal. Yeah. There's a few easy things you can do to make it more water resistant yeah. um, by siliconing where the motor plug cable goes into. Um, and you can put an extra bead of silicone where the batteries are, and you're probably going to be okay. The master, uh, and I don't trust it in the rain, but we did add a lot of silicone to a lot of spaces, so yeah. I'm going to test it in the rain. But the no bearing seal always worries me. The, the Again, we live in Vancouver, the over the it rains a lot. Yeah, the foam, it's not waterproof. Yeah, there's, not, not, waterproof there's not like plastic. a, when you pull up the pad, the, the you know, seat and the top kind of rubbery plasticky thing, and you expect to have like a big long, like silicone layer that's sealed or glued or screwed down. It's just literally just a piece of foam covering the top of it. Foam yeah. is not water resistant nor waterproof. Uh, one thing I didn't put in my notes, uh, I forgot the S22 and the Master are both exceptional for overheating. Like they, ah, they mm -hmm. uh, mitigate the heat very, very well. Yep. Um, I can't remember the numbers. Oh wait, I got the numbers here. Let me read them off my phone. 93 degrees Fahrenheit. So we did two steep climbs. Um, oh, in the in cardiac. Yeah. yeah, this is the cardiac hill I did with Albert and these guys. The Canadian uh, overheat hill. So the EX20S, the first hill was 50 degrees Celsius. The master was 45 and the S22 was only 40. And that's Albert riding the S22. Uh, and Damn, 250 pound guy in yeah. this one too. And then the second hill, which is the cardiac hill, much steeper, more sustained. Albert was trying to ride it as slow as he could to test the low end torque. <laughs> and the EX20 got 54 degrees. Mm -hmm. Was that for the 54 degrees? Yes, it was. Okay. I was just a slow burn on it, yeah. <laughs> the master is for the 46. Something in my coffee. <laughs> and the S22 is 54 with him going really slow because he was really trying to get the low end torque. Yeah. Because before we did it, uh, we were going faster and he was really impressed that it has a lot better low end torque now with okay. the firmware update. He was yep. able to just crawl up the hill. Yep. Of course, the temperature is a little bit higher, but master, 46. It only went up one degree on the cardiac hill. It was, I was impressed. So there, yeah. all the wheels are actually very good. We're, we're over the overheat hill. Like, you know, we need to- It need would pass overheat hill. It would like, still be fun to watch Marty yeah, do a video. You could, you, know. you could do anything. Actually, when we did overheat hill with Marty, he said he was gonna do a more extended over heat hill he yeah. can start at a lower point yeah. and uh make it longer yeah, so i think that'd be a good idea because no these fitting. wheels are getting too good um a few other things simple things the master has a better trolley handle it's in the center it's probably one of the code's best trolley handles it's, still it's a little low sturdy for me. It's it's just, uh, i mean like just a little bit i just maybe. i want that freaking 60 next trolley handle but it's trolley lo handle. still taller i think than the s22 yeah yeah i'm and just S22 like at the back with it yeah. it's gross but yeah, yeah. The lift switch is weird. It's not bad. It's the button. You got to push it twice. It'll lift down and then you don't have to push the lift switch again to undo it. You just have to pull the wheel back up yep. and when it's upright, it'll automatically sense it and it'll engage again, which is kind of a cool feature. Yep. Um, you don't have a weird handle thing that folds up and crushes your hands when you fold up. One yeah. new thing that I've learned that I'm going to be a devil's advocate here that I really don't like about the S22 is that if you don't have the seat on top of it, like Susan has, like your S22 yeah. has, and you're standing still and you just kind of like jump up and down on it, you can rattle loose. The trolley handle is just like a pretty loose, nice quality, but a loose, pretty loose They're metal handle. They're fixing that in the new one though. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Cause currently it's just, you jump on it and if it, if it, pops down thanks to gravity, yeah, it'll just turn they're off. They're gonna have them more still. tensioned, so it's nice. harder. You have to actually like, pull it down. That's good. Yeah, I'll fix that Never issue. Never mind, that's 22 still wins. Um, to summarize head. our points here, I think it goes without saying is the S22 is better for most people, yeah. most riders, especially um, beginners or even people that don't need to go past 70 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Or um, in my opinion, he especially heavier people, but really like a lot of people that are interested in, you know, not going insane speed, even still that, but like people that really want to do technical, like, you know, big stairs or 
nice like go to a mountain bike park and hit some drops um you know clear a couple like three or four stairs to flat and have it feel like freaking sunday brunch super chill yeah. like i literally i think i've said this before i'll go there's this like four set of stairs on the pathway on my on my ride to the grocery store for my house and on the way back it's kind of like a two side stair set so i'll hit it with my just empty bags on the way there but then on my way home i'll have like groceries. handbags full of groceries and a backpack full of groceries, and I'll still just like clear this set to flat. And, boom, boom. and I, I tried riding down those stairs on the master, and I was like, Ugh. I felt like I would literally break the thing. The master I, definitely is more pogo sticky, and yeah. it's more like loose feeling. Yeah. So you don't have that tight feeling, which gives it a better feeling of quality in a sense. Yeah. S22. Yeah. Um, but if you're a more advanced rider and you have a need for speed and power. The master, and I don't really, but I still <laughs> am more drawn to the master. Yeah. Which is great, because uh, as then long I get to ride the S22. <laughs> as you change the tire, yep. and because the, the CST tire is garbage, yep. it, like I said before, it drags you in different directions. I was going down oh, uh, the trail, maybe this is me not being the best <laughs> trail rider, turn, turn. <laughs> but I couldn't turn right. It had me going left, and I'm like trying so hard. There's a huge cliff, so I eventually. <laughs> <laughs> get zoom tight. You guys know get zoom height means health in German? No. Yeah. Health! <laughs> hot. Is that a hot take? It's a hot fact. That's a hot fact. Uh, <laughs> so I got off because I didn't want to drop the math drop a cliff. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, damn, I either suck or that was that the tire pulling me in the wrong direction. Probably um, A little bit of both. Kidding. Uh, <laughs> So it's better for more advanced riders. Um, is there ones a hole that are in this mug. Where I'm getting coffee all over my hands. I'm not spilling. It's definitely not a hole in the mug. Some shoddy NASA craftsmanship, man. I'm <laughs> telling you. And that's it. More advanced riders, master. Um, everybody, everybody else. The S22. I think the S22 is still going to sell a lot better. Um, it's going to have more warranty issues. But if you're not the most hardcore rider, yeah, they're going to do you just fine. If you're Chance Hins and you're going to get an S22 you're gonna have a lot of repairs. Um, but for most people, I don't think that's gonna be the case. Yeah. Um, I, I wanna like extra push that point. And that's not to dissuade people that bought the master being like, oh man, you, you'll get good enough to ride it. But like really ask yourself, do I really need that extra speed and torque? If it's yes, then you want the master for sure. I mean, like in a drag race, the master will romp the S22 all day, but the S22 is still very fast. And if you're more excited about like, <laughs> if, you're more, if you're more excited about like, like uh, doing the stuff that I had said in my in our earlier videos, if you'd watched them, where I was saying like, oh man, it leveled me up in these ways where I'm like finding new lines and just riding things that I never would have thought to ride because the suspension and the stability of the thing gives me so much comfort and confidence to go try that little you know steep drop down or go up yeah. that little S22 baby twenty two still has the S twenty two all day yeah. all day but you won't know until you really like. But you know, for more skilled riders, uh, I mean, you just can't argue with that power and speed and torque. It's just insane. I, it's just so mind boggling. I'll say thought. this. Yeah. I'll say this. And this is, I have caveat. I have thousands of kilometers, at least a thousand kilometers on the S22 from yeah. all oh, of yeah. our rides, a lot of more mileage on it. So I've yeah. downloaded the wheel. With that said, caveat on the caveat, I felt confident on it right away, like right the away the, on the, S oh, the S22, S22, right? Yeah. When it was back in S20 days, right when we got on it, after the end of the first ride, I felt. Yeah, it's one of those wheels you can get on right away and feel comfortable, and which is why it's yeah. better for most people and better. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to get away from the point. What I was trying to say is, so like, felt way more confident. That's cool. Oh, shoot. I need more time on the master to feel more confident, but. I went up this like, I don't know, 25 degree, like pretty steep hill that has this like pretty steep kind of tree stumpy, scary looking wall. I got it on the Insta, but it looks so dinky that I'm not even gonna share it. But I this, this hill that I've climbed a hundred times on the, on the uh, S22, I started it at the same speed, tried to keep all the variables the exact same, went up it on the master and I didn't make it up. I didn't make it up the hill. And to me, that was because I have so much less confidence on the wheel. I felt more shaky side to side. I don't, the power pads on the master are like these tiny little sharp jut outs. You'd need to get some new pads. I personally say get some new pads on the master right away if you really want to like lean into the wheel. Hey, I like the master pads. That's one thing we forgot to talk about. I also really don't like the master um, pads, but I also am the one of the rare people that love the S22 pads, the modularity yeah. <laughs> of it and how I can, 
set up the bottom pad if you put velcro on the side so you yeah can you really got to take off the take off the adhesive you got to take off their guides their yeah. little boomerang guides because yeah. you can't really adjust them that well with the guides yeah. but without it it's a lot better but i made it up the hill on the yeah. I, I go up that hill all the time no problem just mm, just ramble my way up yet again 210 pounds in full gear slowly rambling up and the torque just made my way through and i could just find my route and went up and on the master and I'm thinking like, oh man, this is, I wasn't having a really good experience on it at that point. And I was like, this is where it's probably going to blow my mind. And I didn't make it up. I stopped and got off the wheel and almost dropped it down the freaking hill because I just, I don't, obviously it wasn't a lack of torque, even though it felt like it. It's just, I didn't have the confidence to navigate the wheel up. And that's that that's up a to, good that's a good thing to say. Yeah. It, it, the S22 gives you more confidence. The Way more confidence. can scare you a little bit. Terrifying. I would say a little bit. But I got wobbles going like 60 kilometers an hour and I was just like trying to push it. I don't know how quick I was going. Probably really quick. I was like getting the kind of sound what happens when you start entering in those higher, higher speeds. I aimed the Insta at it, but you can't see it in the video and I didn't look because I was too like, ooh. But I went, I didn't break like... You know, I just kind of like, okay, time to slow down. And right when I pulled back, I was like, <laughs> oh my God, oh. Uh, that happened to me once when I was like, Albert and Doug were ahead of me and they all of a sudden turned. And I was like, oh crap, I had to slow down to make the turn. <laughs> and yeah, that was the first time I felt it. It was when I was braking and turning at the same time. Yeah. But uh, I, that only happened to me once, but practice takes what we got to rope. What do we it. tell when customers are like, my wheel's broken and I get yeah, wobbles. No, like, no. You got, got to yeah. practice. I got to say that to myself trip. right now. I definitely need more time on the master. The reason I'm, why I'm on my phone right now, by the okay, way, sorry, yeah, is yeah, I yeah. forgot we had to pick a winner for the lazy rolling hoodie. Yep. Um, so I just scrolled through our YouTube, screenshotted, and the top one I picked, it is <laughs> K-A-L-C-12-E. And uh, he Cal said... Kels? Kels 12E. Maybe Kels. Kels 12E. Uh, he commented, 16X is my wing wheel. Yeah, lame entry, but you shouldn't be surprised that I'm lazy. <laughs> I ride instead of walking after all, so. Oh, and look at that. Oh. He, he did parentheses on the beginning of, or at the end of after all, but no parentheses at the beginning <laughs> of a ride after all. I like that. I like that. Boom. Nice. Congratulations, you've won yourself a lazy rolling armored hey. hoodie. Uh, EV's exclusive That's navy right. with the bolt. little lightning bolt. Um, Email bradley at evs.com. B-R-A-D-L-E-Y at double E-V double E-S dot com. And I will get you sorted. With proof of identity. Yes. Now I can have a million people emailing me for the least. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 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 uh. Um, that's it.